Hey, this is Eric coming from the Again Faster Garage Games. Hope you like my hat, shirt. Again Faster provides equipment for all Garage Games series events. And so we're going to have some great equipment so that we can have some awesome workouts at the Kryptonite event in Metropolis, Illinois, June 9th and June 10th. I'm going to give you WADs 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4. These are all on day one. So day one is going to be a pretty busy day. And these are for the um, uh, RX, the Masters, and Scaled Competitors. Okay, so what we've got for you, 1.2 is a two-minute max clean and jerk. You're going to have a station. You get two minutes to work up to your max clean and jerk. Um, nothing crazy about that. Simple standards. Uh, we'll talk more about movement standards in a, in a future video. But just assume just what you would expect, max clean and jerk. After that, you're going to move into the Fire Breather Challenge Obstacle Course Race. It's a full Fire Breather Challenge. So you're going to run just over four miles with obstacles. You're going to go over a ton of walls. You're going to climb up walls. You're going to just hurdle walls. You're going to go under things, over things. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to run through a creek. You're going to carry some stuff. Um, what else can I tell you? We've got some balance. We've got some dragging, some pulling. It's going to be a good day. So uh, this, will, this will be 1.3. So this is basically your third workout of the day. So you have a lot of activity this day. Uh, 1.4 is a modified Diane. It's a four-minute Diane. And what you're going to have is do as many reps as possible in four minutes. And you're going to go with a 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, escalation of the handstand push-ups and 225-pound deadlifts. That's the prescribed male, and we will go ahead and give you on our website all of the other details as far as what the weights are and what the subs are. But I do want to tell you this. For every division, if you can do handstand push-ups um, against a tree or a five-foot wall, so think about this. If it's a five-foot wall, you are going to have to have a bent leg to reach the wall or your feet are going to kind of hang over the wall. And we're going to allow that, feet hanging over the wall, if we use the wall. So I say if because we're looking at the tree possibility or the wall possibility. But if you do them with no ab mat, then you will rank higher than anyone who uses one ab mat who would rank higher than anyone who would use to ab mat. So it will be your choice at every division, even RX, we will let you use an ab mat. But then if a person does one handstand push-up, only one in four minutes with no ab mat, and you did 45 or more with one ab mat, that person who did one without it will rank higher than you in this workout. So we're going to allow that for scaled as well. Now beginners, we won't, we won't do that. We're going to alter that for beginners. But masters, same thing. All right. So that's 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4. We've got actually one more workout for day one. It's going to be a long day on day one, but it's going to be a lot of fun. That's, a, that's what's great about this, a lot of fun. All right.